Hey guys, this is Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy, here to bring you your August 2017 tarot reading. This is for the sign of Aries. So if you have a rising sign, sun sign, or moon sign in Aries, this is for you. If you don't know any of those signs, I highly recommend getting a free natal chart done online. My favorite site to go to is cafeastrology.com. Without further ado, let's get started on your reading. So your overall energy for the month is the Prince of Wands. So the Prince of Wands um, really speaks to things moving pretty quite, uh, pretty fast this month. So, you know, you may kind of feel like, oh my gosh, things are changing, things are happening quickly, and you probably like that because you're a fire sign. Um, and this month we also have a grand fire trine happening in the sky in astrology. So this is really conducive for creative expression, um, networking, um, you know, getting back on a health regimen and being able to stay on it. It's a really positive, energetic flow. So yeah, lots of movement and change and expansion for you this month uh, as an overall energy. So that is definitely fun and exciting. All right, in your first house, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So the first house has to do with your sense of self, your identity, um, and also really how you show up in the world, how others see you. And so to see the Wheel of Fortune here means that, I mean, first of all, it's a major arcana. And for me, the major arcana are active principles of the divine, of life itself. And the Wheel of Fortune speaks to, you know, a new direction, a new course coming in for your life. And it's not necessarily something that you have control over, you know, but this is always positive. You know, you are coming into greater expansion. You know, this is a Jupiter card, so more money is coming in for you. Um, just overall abundance and prosperity. You know, home life may be good. Friends may be good. Like you are probably just feeling on top of the world right now, really feeling like you're coming into your power in your sense of self. And, you know, to have a card like this show up, it means that, you know, you've do, been doing a lot of work up to this point, and now you're starting to get a return on um, that investment that you've made. Jupiter really does bless, um, in a big way, hard work. And he's now finishing out his time in Libra right now, which actually is your opposite sign, and will shift into Scorpio later on this year. So um, some beautiful changes happening for you. So that's that's really beautiful to see. Now, in your fourth house, which is the house having to deal with your actual home, um, your emotional state of being, your sense of security, uh, you actually have the Nine of Swords. So this card is a little tough to have here because this means that things are a little bit shaky in your um, emotional experience or your actual physical sense of security. Um, what I'm getting, though, because you have the Wheel of Fortune in your first house, which has to do with your sense of self, this is probably more of a personal um, shifting that's happening. And, um, you know, maybe these changes that you are undergoing of, you know, the new person that you're becoming feels foreign now and you're kind of um, mentally creating unnecessary anxiety about, you know, who that person is to be, you know, how to um, how to really set up your life so that that is supported for whatever this next leg in your journey in but whatever it is you know um this is something that you do have control over and if it's not a personal experience you know this can speak to problems at home or in the family that are causing you worry or causing you to lose sleep so i would encourage you you know to really focus on self-care because this is your core this is your foundation and at the end of the day you are the one in control of your experience so Feel what you need to feel, support yourself, you know, with your um, close friends or what have you, but um, know that you are in control of this energy, okay? Now, in your seventh house, you actually have the temperance card. So you have two major arcana right across from each other, marrying each other, which is really beautiful. And the seventh house has to do with your relationships. So this can be friends, family, um, you know, romantic partners or business partners. And so this speaks to, to me, like a, a transformation. Uh, temperance card is um, the alchemy card for me. It's about bringing things that are seemingly opposite and finding 
the the middle ground, finding the compromise and making things work. And that may be um, where this is happening potentially in your family life. It's like finding a way to um, create peace at home in between warring factions, if you will. <laughs> um, this also may just mean that there is a lot of uh, beautiful support that mirrors where you are. Um, so if you are kind of going through some things emotionally, you know, there is strength and balance here around you, it looks like. Now, if this is in a romantic context, this card for me also speaks to uh, twin flame energy or, you know, a deep soul connection energy. So you do definitely um, have someone in your life who who kind of resonates with that. So and that's a beautiful, uh, again, energy to be mirroring with that that wheel of fortune, because as you turn and grow this relationship, if it you know, if it is something romantic is um, going to evolve as well, too, because you know, you guys are equals here, right? Now, in your 10th house, you actually have the Eight of Wands. And your 10th house has to do with your career, with your life purpose, also your reputation. And to have this card here means that things are really opening up for you, which, you know, again, with that Wheel of Fortune, that, that does make sense. So things will be moving fast. Opportunities will be opening up. Doors will be opening up for you. Um, new opportunities to network and connect with people who um, really might be able to catapult you into something bigger and brighter in your life. Uh, I like that complementary energy here between the um, the tenth house and the seventh house because if you do come across um, some power players, these are some really nice strategic alliances that you can um, uh, incorporate in your life and to move your career and your work life forward. Uh, this also says that, you know, people around you are also seeing the massive shift and expansion and it is being noticed. Um, and that might, you know, since it is mirroring this nine of swords at the bottom, again, that might be just causing some trepidation in your mind or in your emotions about the changes and just making sure that you feel like you can handle it or what have you. And what I would say is, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune showing up, you're really just going to have to go with the flow. Um, again, take care of yourself as you need to, but know that this massive amount of uh, expansion uh, and growth and the quickness of it is a blessing for you from Jupiter. Now, in this interview read, which is the position of, you know, your soul's desire, soul purpose, um, intention for this month, you actually have the Seven of Wands. Now, I actually really like the Seven of Wands because it speaks to really being clear about your boundaries, um, being clear about where your power is, being strong, um, having gone through battles and really know where your strengths lie, really know where your weaknesses lie, and being able to navigate those in a way that... Um, is beneficial instead of in a way that potentially sabotages your progress. Um, so I love that that is actually the energy that, that is the center here because with all of these massive changes it looks like it's happening in your life, um, you this card actually feels quite grounded and balanced, um, but also deeply powerful. Like it's, it's actually pretty magnetic, um, the energy that I'm getting off of this. So um, a lot of, you know, kind of fiery... Um, expansive creative um, energy here so it looks like it's going to be a really powerful month you know hang on to <laughs> hang on to your uh, seatbelt as you you go through this crazy wild ride but you know ride it to the end and I'm excited to see what happens for you by the end of the month right uh, if you would like to have your own personal tarot reading with me please do reach out um, you can find my information below. My website is innersunalchemy.com. Also, if you have not already checked out the astrology video that I did for August, um, definitely look at that because, you know, we have these two eclipses. We have two retrogrades. Saturn going, Saturn is actually going direct this month. So a lot of changes in the sky, a lot of um, power players 
um, doing things that are going to affect your life in a big way. So check it out and see where that specifically is going to affect you or book a reading with me. I wish you the best and I look forward to actually seeing you in September. Much love. Bye-bye.